Thanks for joining us for this special Mayor's Minutes update from the City of Plymouth. I am joined, Dave Kaiser from CCX Media by Mayor Jeff Washi from the City of Plymouth. As you see, we are virtual here today, trying to do our best to keep our distancing and uh, really explore this new unprecedented world. Mayor Washi, how are you today? I'm doing great. How are you doing, Dave? I'm very well. So we are trying to pass some information along to residents about what's going on in the city of Plymouth, some important messages from the mayor. So mayor, let's begin talking about the stay at home order that came from the governor. So what is yes. a stay at home order? What do we need to understand out of that? Well, a stay at home order isn't as um, rigid as a shelter in place order. So I think we need to remember that you're allowed to conduct your business. If you need to go to the store, you can go to the store. If you want to go outside, you can go outside. I went for a run this morning. I'll be running again Saturday morning. But that stay in order takes effect at 11.59 p.m. on Friday. So we have today and tomorrow, and then we really um, need to focus on just trying to stay at one place, uh, not running about it, um, doing errands or whatnot like we normally would on Saturday. Perfect, leading to the next question. So what should we do during a stay at home order? What do residents do and what is the mayor doing? How are How is your <laughs> life being affected? Uh, I started officing from home my, with my full-time job a week ago yesterday. So I've been officing from home, uh, got set up for that. And really, I don't think for me particularly, anything will change very much. We're have limited already. Um, the errands and what we do outside. So um, I think for people that are doing this, uh, there may not be a lot of change. Let's talk a little bit about the city. There have been some changes at the city. Let's talk about how the services have been affected. What should people know about the city operations? Right, so our critical operations um, will continue to be run. Uh, our ma emergency management team meets on a daily basis, you know, virtually of course. Um, but they are talking about, and they've already developed contingency plan when a stay in order or a stay in place order did would go into effect. So we're ready for that. So we have to make sure the water, the sewer functions, uh, our police, our fire, uh, those critical functions there. But some of the non-critical functions, uh, we'll no longer have people um, needing for that for the next two weeks. We have a lot of people that are officing from home, just like I am. Mm -hmm. uh, and so we've already put a lot of that into place already. And we'll talk in just a minute about ways people can stay connected and certainly the website is a great place to do that. Right. Look, have you look into your crystal ball a little bit and forecast a little bit. So how will this affect the community? Is it too early to tell? What are your thoughts at this point? What might we have to see? What happens next? Yeah, I think the biggest things people really need to be conscious of is maintaining a six foot distance, a safe, healthy, uh, the social distancing that we've talked about. Um, I would really be cautious if you're bringing your kids to a playground. Uh, I know they're going to be pent up as the weather gets nicer. There's going to be that temptation to do that. But just those those playground equipment isn't gonna, are not going to be sanitized. You don't know who's put their hands there. Uh, you don't know what germs you may pick up. So I'd be really cautious about doing that. Uh, I'd bring your kids, enjoy them, but practice it social distancing make sure there's six now they're even saying maybe 10 feet apart uh, from other people so if you get too many families coming to the park uh, you're going to the grocery store just be very careful as you're passing people in the aisles uh, I think just the good common sense things a lot of people are already doing the other part of this is obviously a wonderful time to be a good neighbor so what can residents do to be good neighbors in Plymouth um, you know just be very courteous of other people um, everyone, this is a very tense and stressful time and people, I think, really need to try and bear patience with other people. Um, there was somebody who was backing out of the store when I was in uh, coming yesterday and um, they were a little bit short tempered and I think we just need to realize that, uh, not to let things escalate, be courteous, uh, realize everyone's on, under a great deal of stress during this time, and especially as the two weeks go by. The longer I office from home, I, I mean, I'm cooped up here. So uh, I know what people are feeling when they're doing that. Yeah, understandable. Final point here, again, how can residents stay up to date? Where are you putting information out as a city on a regular basis? Well, the, the on our city website, we are. So if they can go to PlymouthMen.gov, 
that'll have the link there to get all the current information, also the links to uh, the CDC website uh, and uh, the Department of Health website for the state, state level too. So PlymouthMN.gov is a main site or PlymouthMN.gov slash coronavirus. Again, a lot of information, those yep. links the mayor mentioned. So mayor, thank you for your time. You stay healthy, stay safe there, and I'm sure we'll meet you again for other updates in the future. Thanks, Dave. You do the same. Thank you. Have a good afternoon. All right, you too.